Hey, my name is Jared Moon and I'm part of a group of underground athletes you've probably never even heard of before. We don't rely on fancy equipment for training and most of us don't even have gym memberships. In fact, our motivation comes from within. You see, we have jobs, families, and responsibilities, but we still have big goals and they aren't getting achieved at a global gym. For that reason, we have to do things differently. Our training has to be smarter. We don't have every piece of equipment known to man or a ton of time to train, and we don't need it because we are achieving amazing things without it. So how do we do it? If you ask your average personal trainer or gym goer, they'd call us crazy. Yet we're seeing results better than most every single day. And it's happening by blending mental training with physical training and becoming an athlete. What we call, and welcome to, Garage Gym Athlete. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Garage Gym Athlete Podcast, final episode of the season. Jared Moon here with Joe Courtney. What's up, Joe? Hey, ready to, ready to lock this down. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed season five, very different than what we've been doing with the previous four seasons. But like I said, season six, we will be back at you with interviews from our athletes. Just really felt that we should answer some questions, help some Garage Gym Athletes around the world, and uh, make you fitter, make you a better human. And that's what we're doing. So uh, today we're just going to talk about updates because we always have a lot of stuff going on. Um, and part of the community is just growth and continually improving. And that's that's our goal is to not stay stagnant, to not uh, like like in our programming. Like we actually have programming that is written in 12-week cycles and does not repeat itself. That is, I, There's like no one else who does that. <laughs> like every single other... Uh, fitness programming site out there that I know of, they might, you know, follow cycles or whatever, but they wrote like a year and then they just put it on repeat. And that would be boring as hell for me, but I actually see programming as like, as something I get better at, you know, as something I, my skill, you know, my one thing in this company is to, to do that. And so, uh, that, that's just our mindset with everything we're doing in Garage Gym Athlete is to continually improve. And so we want to do some updates, all kind of uh, talk about them a little bit and then, um, or I'll, I'll announce them and then Joe and I can kind of talk about them. So the first one up is, uh, 2019, uh, we want to start doing quarterly meetups. So, uh, Joe, like what's kind of your vision in doing quarterly meetups with garage gym athletes. And, you know, I can kind of talk about it a little bit too. So just trying to get to certain areas. We went to Asheville this past, uh, August for Spartan race and the people that came out loved it. And there are also a lot of other people that wish they could come. You know, actually, it's kind of hard to get to. So we yeah, wanted to have, expensive. and <laughs> yeah, and just just being able to, I mean, being online and stuff is great and connecting with people, but you can't really fully connect with them and meeting them in person and doing, you know, a five hour race or whatever with them. Now it's it's not always going to be a Spartan race, but we still want to get together and do certain uh, different things and try and move them around uh, location wise. You know, now that you're in Texas, that'll be a lot easier to do stuff there. You know, Texas has got space for days. You just find an empty lot and do something in it. Um, I'm in SoCal. We can try and find something here and then just go, go to where, go, go to where you guys need us to maybe. Yeah. And that's, uh, I think that's a really big, big deal. Like I think the typical fitness company, um, development is to like do some sort of like, uh, you know, weekly seminars or camps or whatever, and those are okay. I've been to some, but like, I like to do events. Like, let's get to know each other. Let's get to meet, let's meet ourselves together. Right. Um, and I announced in the Facebook group not long ago, like, or just yesterday, uh, if you're in Texas, you, you, and you are one of our athletes, you have the opportunity to meet yourself Saturday with me, uh, at my house. We'll be, I'll put, post more, more information. Uh, so they're going to be four. We want to do quarterly. So four events right in the year, but one of them I want for us to host and it not just be like a, like I said, an athlete camp, um, type thing. I want us to host an event and that's kind of my vision is, uh, what it's going to be called. It's heavy load, long distance, and it's just going to be carrying, guess what? A heavy load for a long distance. Now there'll be some other fun stuff thrown in there. Uh, but I want to actually host that event as a company, as an organization and have people come to it and we'll work out the details. It probably won't be the first event of the quarter. Uh, but we'll, you know, the second or third in there when the weather is getting, uh, either hot or more comfortable, depending on 
how I feel like punishing people or, you know, whatever. Uh, so that'll be, that, that's kind of my vision is to, to do those, but also have one of those events. And, and I would love for everyone to be a part of it. Uh, next, this one's kind of quick. Uh, we do have the new Garage Gym Athlete Accelerators this cycle, uh, and it's really just 100%. The reason I call them accelerators, we put out so much educational information, it's almost too much. Like, we're doing a, a webinar every single month. You know, we have a lot of YouTube videos, um, doing Facebook Lives. Like, we just, we're, we're creating a lot of content, which is great. You know, be, don't worry about trying to learn everything that we've put out. Just, like, pick it up wherever you're at and start learning and, and if you are one of our athletes, you can go back and watch all the webinars and you'll learn a ton. But say in two years, if we recorded a webinar every month, <laughs> you know, that's going to be what, like 36 webinars, you know, listed in your library that are all an hour. And so the, the reason I kind of did the accelerators want to do this is because I don't want to teach you anything in the accelerators. I just want you to trust that I know what the hell I'm talking about and you need to implement this shit as fast as you can. That's what the accelerators are about. Uh, it takes some trust on your part to me. And if you, if you don't trust me yet, the person who created the accelerators, that's fine. Maybe you'll get there eventually, but that's all I'm looking for, um, is for you to implement stuff, implement mindset, implement habits, implement nutrition as fast as you can. If they're like really short videos, Hey, do this, do this, do this, implement it, go do it, go do that right now. Don't sit around and ask me any questions. You know, don't, you know, worry about the science behind it. I've already done that. I've already researched it. I'm telling you what to do, you know, so go do it. It's kind of like having a doctor who's like, you know, tells you what to do. You don't normally sit around and ask the doctor, you know, okay, well, you know, what, which medical class did you learn that in? And <laughs> you know, why should I trust you? It's like, no, dude, I've been doing this for a long time. Implement this stuff. It works. Go do it. And I tell you how to do it in two minutes as opposed to you having to learn everything. Uh, now learning the why I still think is important, but that's not the accelerator for, like I said, you can learn all that stuff in our webinars and whatnot. Uh, next, this one's kind of a poll and I'll put in more information in the group, but the, we've mentioned it more than a few times this, this season, the Endure Track. Um, we, we might be doing a running and cycling Endure Track. So like a dual Endure, endure Track endurance. So, uh, yeah, that could be coming. If you guys want to see it, uh, just let us know whether you want to tweet me, you want to Instagram us, you want to send me some snail mail, write me a letter. Um, if any, if one person writes me a letter, it's done. There will be an endurance track <laughs> if that happens. Uh, so in, in my entire, uh, so N3 Fitness has been running for seven years at this point. I've received one handwritten letter, uh, testimonial. Like we've, we've received hundreds of testimonials, <laughs> you know, online and like Instagram, like all these things about the programming and whatnot. But one guy specifically asked for my address and I was like, eh, what do you do? He's like, I just want to write you a, a letter of gratitude. And I was like, let's see what this is about. So he, I gave him my address. He wrote me a letter and it was probably the coolest thing that's ever happened. Well, this, uh, disclaimer on the endurance track, it's not going to be five blocks. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. That's, that's the big thing with the endurance track is, uh, that it will, you will, you will need more than an hour to train. Uh, cause what we're looking to do is not just going to be straight endurance. Like we don't do that. Like that's not my, my one thing. Like it's, it's going to be balancing out endurance athletes cause they're not endurance athletes are not balanced. They are normally, uh, crazy weak and, uh, but really good at endurance. I'd rather be a hybrid model of that, you know? So not just like I've seen endurance programs and they just crack me up. They're just like variations of different heart rate zone trainings, periodized over 12 weeks. And there's like, they're like, get a hundred pushups in if you can this week. I'm like, that's your, <laughs> that's your strength advice to coincide with all of this, uh, you know, cycling. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll probably be doing that. We'll, we'll pull the, uh, pull the community to see if you guys are interested. Let's see what else we have. Can't read my own handwriting. Uh, more meet yourself uh, Saturday workouts and more videos. Those kind of go hand in hand. Um, this entire cycle will be doing a new meet yourself Saturday workout. I think for the entire twelve week cycle, there might be might be ten if I'm going back correctly, but a lot of new ones this coming one's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of fun ways to do I'm it i'm excited for next week patriot <laughs> oh yeah oh actually that one um you saw the draft version of that there's a modification i made to it it might make it a little uh, less fun a little more meet yourself-esque but uh cur courtesy of satima i believe satima Nyali. yeah yeah, yeah. big uh big, big samoan defensive lineman that we had on the podcast uh he gave us this workout he likes to do from time to time so 
little and, teaser for you. <laughs> and then I added a tweak to it to make it a little bit worse. Um, <laughs> I, a Jared tweak. Uh, and one thing uh, we're actually going to be doing, so Joe and I talked about this actually during the season after having conversations and whatnot, nutrition fitness testing. Um, we've talked about, like, you can get genetic tests done. Joe mentioned that in some of our uh, off-air conversations to find out if you should be an endurance athlete or you should be a strength athlete. There's a lot of cool stuff like that. And people could tell you to their blue in the face that you should be keto, that you should be vegan, that you should be paleo, that you should do this, do that. Uh, you should fast, all that. And we've even done that, you know, over the course of this season. We've kind of told you our recommendations from what we're seeing. But I really, uh, like I said, I've been testing over the last year my performance doing different nutrition protocols. Now, not drastically changing, not like testing myself to be, okay, how am I on a vegan diet? How am I, I, I'm basically testing different variations of fasted, low carbohydrate, super low keto, uh, you know, more carb, like all these different things and, and testing my performance. So we're going to kind of formalize that and give it to you guys to see how you operate best as opposed to everyone having their damn opinion about keto, paleo, vegan, without ever actually doing it or knowing how it affects their performance. And that's what pisses me off so much about other strength and conditioning coaches out there. Uh, they get on their high horse after a certain level of experience. I feel like after you've been a coach for like 10 years, you start to think that you know everything, or at least that's what happens in the industry a lot. And they're like, oh, you can never be low carb. That wouldn't work. And here's the reason. It's like, have you done it? Have you had your athletes do it? No, you've recommended the thing that you've recommended for the last decade, and you think it works because you see results with your athletes, but there could possibly be another way. And so I want to introduce this uh, to kind of help people make their own decision without having to just listen to your gurus and uh, take their their word as bond. All For right. Show. And then this is really the last one, uh, the Garage Gym Athlete documentary. Something we've been working on behind the scenes. We've only announced it to a few people, but we are working on a cross-country documentary. And I'll kind of let Joe uh, kind of explain what we're doing, the path and whatnot. Yes, we're gonna for a couple of weeks. We're gonna drive across. We're probably gonna start in SoCal, uh, San Diego, by me, and then head over to because you know if, if you're big in the fitness world, half the half the people on Better Immunology podcast are in San Diego or from San Diego or something. So we're going to start here, see if we can meet up with some of them, and then go over to Phoenix because you have a bunch of coaches and athletes for some reason congregating in Arizona. Yeah, it's weird, but true. Yeah. yeah. And then from there, we're going to head up to uh, Colorado somewhere, maybe Denver. I'm not sure exactly where in Colorado. And then ending, of course, in <clears throat> somewhat HQ in Dallas. So if you are along that path, then let us know. We'll, we'll see if we can stop by, do a workout, do some things. But really, we just want to get out there and see – see people doing being garage gym athletes and how they do things and what they do and how they've made it work and just getting the stories of of how, of how the whole movement hasn't been going because that's been growing uh, a lot in the past, in this past couple of years yeah i think it'll be we have a few logistical things to tie down um so our schedule is flexing a little bit more than we'd like it to right now but that's the plan highlight this movement, this garage gym athlete movement, uh, that we've been a part of now for really seven years. Uh, and I've even been a garage gym athlete before that, you know, and just kind of documenting what I've seen, what our athletes have seen. And really what we've talked about a majority of this season is that garage gym athlete mentality that I'm going to make it work. I'm going to get it done. I'm not going to complain, you know, and, and just make it work. So we're really looking forward to doing that and involving as many people from our community as possible. Um, I think that, that might be what sets us apart from other documentaries. We will talk to, uh, you know, if we can get some, some experts on in certain areas, we will, but the majority, like, I really only want to talk to our athletes. That's why this podcast is the way that it is because I, you know, I enjoy interviewing people on the better humanology podcast who can bring some expertise to the field. Uh, but I just feel like that stuff can kind of get old and start to get recycled. You know, like, let's talk about something new. Let's talk about, the, let's talk to the actual athletes and see what's going on there and how, you know, the in the trenches version of life is actually working. Not, uh, you know, some biohacker who makes, you know, a million dollars a year and, you know, gets all these products sent to him for free telling you how you should live your life when it's not realistic. And I want to talk to the garage gym athletes and talk about what it's actually like to, to do this stuff day in and day out. So I think it'll be a really cool documentary. And I hope that you have enjoyed season five. Joe, do you have any parting shots for anybody? Uh, no. Uh, stay tuned for season six. If you want to be on it, stay, uh, keep your eyes peeled, email, Facebook group, whatever. And if you're not a part of the group, then get on the group.
And my only final parting shot will be do not forget to try hard. That's it. <laughs> All right. I'm out. Bye.